Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, we're already the analog horror. Already. L L distorted face. Ah, I'm going insane. I'm tired. It has nothing to do with the fact that it's a black show. Well, I can't be tired at one in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say this game sucks because I can't like when you were in class at school, right? And you would like draw boxes like rectangles and stuff. You can't do that. Let's do television commercial. Dude, that is so cool. Look at that. You can skim across and everything. That is so sick. Every year, thousands of families suffer injuries from common household hazards, such as house fires, flooding, black mold. I mean, that's like in every UK home. Like any uni accommodation, it will be covered in black mold. It's basically what you pay for. Metamorph. Okay, I like that. All analog horror does this, by the way. It's like, uh, normal thing, normal thing, normal thing. <gasps> Spooky. To be fair, if this was like a YouTube analog horror, the audio for the instructional video would have just cut out. Then become a statistic. Call the home safety hotline to keep your family safe. Okay. Oh, wow. This is loading like an old ass, like... Macintosh or something. Welcome from HSH Corporate. Welcome to the Home Safety Hotline family. We are pleased to have you aboard as our brand new Home Safety Hotline responder. Your supervisor's name is Carol Regina. She'll be in call with you today to brief you on your duties and will be reviewing your work daily to ensure maximum accuracy. As a reminder, responders with a 90% accuracy rate or more will qualify to receive our daily employee coupons. Work hard and be rewarded with incredible savings. Sincerely, HSH Corporate. Oh my god, we get coupons, guys. Wait, 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 wait. Do you see these? Do you see these, chat? Do you see these? Phobia toggles. Arachnophobia. Entomophobia. Nyctophobia. Tripophobia. Skibbity toilet phobia. Fear of being watched. Ah, oh, I don't like this. Turn <laughs> Someone in chat just said turn on homophobia. <laughs> turn on homophobia. <laughs> okay, that was like that was the first funny message on this stream in like three years. <laughs> Uh, turn on homophobia. God, I wish. That would go on in a heartbeat. Let's begin, let's begin. I'm a little bit spooked. Uh, there was a lot of phobias listed there. There was a lot of phobias. <coughs> Welcome, employee, to begin. Shift, please I'm clock in below. Up. Spooky face! Spooky ah! face! I don't know where to put my, uh, my face cam. Maybe here? Oh. Incoming call. Hello? Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here Hi, at Carol. Beach. Hi, Carol. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You're gonna die! You're gonna die! Okay, so when someone, when someone calls me, I need to deduce what the problem is. Okay, we got a call, we got a call. Let's hear, let's hear. John here. Hi, John. My wife insisted I call this number. Hi, John. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just an Italian, eh? Okay, my wife insisted I call this number. Some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Itchiness? No. Attract other pests. Okay, it's not it's not bed bugs. That's not a bed bug, by the way. That's a what do they call it? An aphid? I forget. Bees. <laughs> I 
Okay. It probably is black mold, but he, he said infestation. Small black dots. Specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Um, uh, okay. We, I, I think, I think it's black mold, but I want to see if there's like any other insects that leave like, you know, stuff around. Because they like, they poop like everywhere. Yep, droppings. Droppings that appear coffee. Yeah, 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 there you go. Who in chat said black mold? Who in chat said black mold? Get him out of here! Get him out of here! I told you, I told you it was cockroaches. He literally said coffee. Uh, bed bugs, black mold, cockroaches. So you get as much time as you want. Info sent, good job. So when am I told if it's like accurate or not? I don't like you're just waiting for another call. Oh. Hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd just in case. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like... You know, it's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make it, sure. It, so it sounds like. E e e e hey, Byro, e keep up the I think that's mice, right? Is that mice? Oh, we got gopher. That's a new one. Oh, it might be gopher. Uh oh, this one. This one's a bit of a hard one. It's in the attic, though. Yeah, yeah. And gophers. Didn't it say gophers are found underneath households? Living in burrows, burrow on their property. Yeah, so it's it's gonna be a it's gonna be a mouse, right? Because she said the attic as well. I think it's mice. Should we just submit mice? Where's mice? Okay, that wasn't too bad. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. We're already the analog horror. Already. L Le distorted face. Ah, I'm going insane. Twig Sigmund here. Just calling to inform you that your refrigerator has been running wild for the past 45 to 90 minutes. Better, better head over and catch it. What does that mean? Oh, accuracy 100%. Let's go. Let's go. That's good. 100% accuracy. Let me open my mail. Files on desktop. Uh... Quit before it's too las lasat. You don't know me, but I used to have your job. You are n whoa danger. Quit today before it's too late. You don't know enough. It's not too late to quit freely. Trust me. Ooh, I got a I got a coupon. All right, I guess we do another one. We do another one. I guess we we wait for a call. What we got? Hi, Carol. Hi. These, yeah, these, these are going to be some spooky ones. A bat. Bad teeth. Okay. Mike Schmidt. What is bad teeth? Is that chat? Is that is that a real thing? Is bad teeth like a real thing? What the hell are bad teeth? A uh, carbon monoxide. That would not be what he's got because that would just kill him straight up. Uh oh. There's an audio sample. That is terrifying. A slimy residue, the sound of dripping or stretching. Uh, their weight can often cause duress to a home's foundation. Fracture hub. They cause cracks in furniture and walls. They inhabit physically similar to other hubs. Uh, they also bear a false face. Wait, who said the fracture hub looks like me? Who said that? Are you stupid? The hair is like nothing similar. The, the hair, the hair looks nothing similar at all. 
His hair is going off like, like this. His hair is like that. My, my hair doesn't go off like that. The Fracture Hub has more hair than I do. The Fracture Hub has more hair than I do. Chat, I'm sorry, but look, 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 look how much, look how much hair I have. Look how much hair, look how much hair I have on my head right now. Look how much hair I have on my head. And, and it's not that I look like the Fracture Hub, I'm now balding apparently. The co <laughs> Someone said I took so long, the caller probably already died. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, I was reading all the lore. You just collapsed on the floor. Where right, what we got now? Yo, Buzz Goober here. I've been having a heck of a time over here. I got these snappers itching and whooping and crying all over the place. <laughs> whooping! Just all over the place. I got these whipper snappers yelping and whining and I can't get a wink of sleep. He's trying to lay down over here. What you gonna do about all this? I've called about 5,500 times and y'all haven't done a thing about it. He looks like Mr. Potato Head in real life. Also, like, I'm that termly online. I read his name as Buzz Guna. He sounds like a Don Polo edit. <laughs> Oh my god, he does! What are you gonna do? You've been called about 55 times and you haven't done a thing about it. Oh, that wasn't even like a test. Oh, yeah, that wasn't even like a test. He's just hung up. <coughs> Hello? Do you guys handle security? I need home security installed. Okay, so I was dead. Okay, this is a desk hub, without a doubt. This is a desk hub. Yep. That one was an easy one. Accuracy 100%! Let's go, baby! Let's go! You've reached the end of your scheduled work session. Perfect. Hey Don't, again, do, the door, Don't like do the door knock! Don't do the door knock! Don't do the door knock when I'm playing this game! It's too late for you now. They gave you access to more info, didn't they? I warned you. If you end up like me, join me in this hole. They haven't found me yet. It's safe here. Alright, we'll do matches. Oh, broadcast. The real estate update. Has anyone has anyone seen that house that was available to buy, and it was like on it was on like Sneed Avenue? Hang on, I, I I gotta show you guys this. This I I genuinely thought this was parody. This is real, by the way. This is not a parody. This is not a joke. Searching for the perfect home. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine living rent-free on Cope Road, Sneedville. Featuring two bedrooms. Two bedrooms on Cope Road. With one full bathroom. Imagine living rent-free there. This on property is currently <laughs> listed for under $110,000. $100,000! That is such good money as well! Like, I'm just thinking of UK house prices. Everyone's saying I've leaked my home address. <laughs> the cop house. <laughs> Eighty-four thousand dollars, one bedroom, two bathrooms. That is, that is a better offer than Cope Road, Sneedville. That is a better offer. Damn, I might move into that house. Hundred thousand dollars, two bedrooms, three bathrooms. Oh, that's good. That that that's that's a that's a mighty fine price. That's a good price. Hundred 
120k for four bedrooms, five bathrooms. That is crazy. Like, how affordable American houses are. That is insane. Community alert. A civil authority has issued a missing persons alert for the following counties. Can you shut up? I'm trying to look at the houses. Uh, Peanut Avenue. Peanut, my nuts. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms. Bush County, Maple County, Parkway County, Berry County. I don't care. This is a missing persons alert. Authorities are currently looking for missing child, Robbie Parker, male, brown hair, approximately four feet tall, last seen wearing a yellow shirt, brown shorts, and white tennis shoes. Suspect is described to be approximately six feet tall, barefoot, wearing a large bush or shrub on their person. Last seen at approximately 10.25 a.m. Please report any unusual activity to your local authorities. Unlucky. Why are you saying I went missing? Brown hair, approximately four feet tall. Left. Approximately four feet tall. You guys are stone locking me more than Hassan. Stop saying the same joke over and over. I feel I feel like Hassan Piker reading chat right now. Who the hell did someone disagree with me? Oh, I'm gonna pull up your entire Twitch history on, on stream and embarrass you. Oh. <clears throat> Hello, Supervisor Carol here again. We've updated your Hi, Carol. Questions. You should now have access to more extensive information to work with for your future calls. Please be sure to read these new. Carol, that's great. You can continue providing our clients with accurate diagnoses. Please remember that this information is strictly confidential and not to be shared with anyone unless pertinent to a caller's needs. Thank you. Bye, Carol. Bye! There's something in the basement. I've seen it. It's huge, almost as big as my dog. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but I haven't gotten close enough to it to find out what it is since it's always just lurking out of sight from the top of the stairs. I need someone to come get this thing out of my basement as soon as possible. I've locked the door since I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. Okay, that is definitely the slug, right? Please hold. That's the slug. That is 100% the slug. Because that's so obvious, like, what it is. We did it. Oh, that's that's the bed teeth. That's the bed teeth. My legs itch like crazy. Do I need to be showering more often or something? I usually shower like once a week for my skin health, so maybe that's it. Shower once a week? Once a week? Oh my god! I don't even know if I want to help this guy or not. No, I might just lie to him and say it's frozen pipes. I shower once a week. Most hygienic pyrovan. That's crazy. Alright, let's do bed teeth. I mean, that was pretty obvious it was bed teeth. No, We fucked it, we fucked it, we fucked it. We actually fucked it. 83%. There's no- there's no email. It's over. Okay. I, th I think we're doing the day again. Because I, I really want to get 100% rating. 100%! Hooray! Which is interesting. Oh, new video, new video. New video, new law, new law, new law, new law. Look at that skybox. Science mysteries. The mystery of mice. 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 From humanity's oldest friends and oldest enemies. From the Black Plague to the shelves of our pet stores. Mice have lived alongside humans for centuries. And just like humans, mice may even be evolving alongside us as well. Mice. This is a mus musculus. Mice. mice. Known as the common house mouse. And this 
is Mus musculus loquentis, otherwise known as the smart mouse, a newly discovered species known for its uniquely colored iris, and more importantly, its increased intelligence. Mice have brains smaller than peanuts, and yet, modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently. And in the case of the smart mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. With the help of modern computer technology, today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. Let's take a listen. Squeak. Give us a kill them all, enslave humanity. <laughs> what do you think? I'm a rat, help me. Is this a wonder of evolution? Or are we just hearing things that aren't there? Do mice and men have more in common than previously thought? Well, I suppose that's what makes this a science mystery. I like how everyone in chat said that was the queen at Lizzie's back, and then one guy said it sounds like me. Oh. Right, that, that's a gnome, right? That's a gnome. Gnome slob on my knob. Somebody's stalking me. I can see their shadow at night in my window. There's got to be a night gnome, right? When I close the window, I can hear him out there. Enter the sleeping quarters of humans or watch them when they sleep. Frequently report sightings in the middle of the night or heavy breathing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a night gnome. It's a night gnome. Wait, someone said Night Wisp. Nah. She never Colossal said talking, cameo. she's saying breathing. Colossal cameo? That that woman is probably like 90, that's way too young to be a uh, Colossal. Yeah, let's do a Night Gnome. How do you solve it? If they become bored or restless, they'll move on. Skylar White! There may be some kind of Skylar White! Ventilation. Lately, we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling, and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. Hi, I'd like my to make a call. My my husband my husband stole the child again. Hank's dead. Walt. Thank you, Spooky for eighteen. Some kind of problem with our home ventilation. Hearing banging noises coming from the ceiling. Air quality has been reduced. My daughter has not been able to stop coughing. God, that could be anything. Whistling fungi? No, she never said whistling. Banging noises from the ceiling and bad air quality and a cough. Nope. 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 The attic gnome? There, there was no attic gnome. Was there an attic gnome? Let's have a look. Oh yeah. Knocking or ra- Okay, I thought that was something else. Rapping sounds. <laughs> Rapping sounds coming from the ceiling. <laughs> hey, Pac-Man. <laughs> Just want to say you have a mess no! of double team. Get out of my I'll ceiling! Get out of my ceiling! Sincerely, man. However, when frightened, they will violently expel their meals, which can send large quantities of dust particles into the air, causing air quality issues. I think it's an attic gnome. I think it's an attic gnome. Someone, someone needs to pay him 50k to get out of the attic. <laughs> Alright, do attic gnome. Uh, 
What's that? We got more mail. Uh oh. What the hell? Do not come to the hole. The hole is breached. Repeat. The hole is breached. It's not safe here. I must find a new spot. It knows I'm here. Wait, someone someone in chat said that I was the... They said it was the cat. Oh, I might have been. Hi, Carol. Hello. Supervisor Carol here. Hi! Thine accuracy continues to impress those of us above. Thine accuracy. I have updated your permissions once more. Yeah, she's not she's not talking normally now. She, she's speaking like a cult. Our eyes rest soundly upon thee. Your accuracies continue to impress those above and below the soil. That's kind of spooky. Alright. What we got? Hello, woman. There were Satan worshippers in my shed. They, 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 they were Satan worshippers and they, they, they took her jobs. They, they took her jobs. Because he's been gone for days now and the next thing you know, I find a dang tree growing in my shed. A, a dang tree growing in my in my job today. They took her jobs. Saying worshippers in my shed. Dungeon dragon cult. The next thing I know is I find a tree growing in my shed. I don't think this is anything I've seen before. I, I don't think this is. I don't think this is anything I've seen before. Closet labyrinth. Twisting network of tunnels that are known to occasionally appear inside of the closets or wardrobes. Uh, dream weaver. And known to weave dreams into reality. Okay, I think this is the one. I think this is Spree Tree. They found a cult in the shed. The sh Satan worshippers in the shed. He's been gone for days. And the next thing is I find a tree growing in my shed. Yeah, I think it's Sprig. I think it's this one. I think it's Sprig Tree. Rapidly growing trees that take root in a human body. They're known to cause structural damage as they grow. I think it's this one. They're incredibly deadly to those infected and they'll result in death once they've reached a certain size. There's no cure. Infected should be quarantined. Or any others should vacate the premise immediately. Do not touch the infected person or the black substance. Didn't she say a black substance? Yeah, black liquid. Yes, yeah, this one. It's it's brick, hundred percent. It's sprig tree. Oh yeah, sprig tree. Look at this guy. What the hell? Is that Hector Salamanca? Hello. Uh oh, why is she why is she calling me? I noticed that you've been experiencing regular disruptive calls from a false caller with ulterior motives. I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Keep up the good work, employee. Alright, thank you, Hag. It was always someone that would call, repeat themselves. And it was always like it, it was like a different name and face. It it, 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 it stole me. It stole me. I'm I'm not me anymore. I'm it, 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 it took me. It took me. I can't see myself anymore. I'm gone. Help me. I don't I don't care. I don't care. Right, let me cook here. I think it's that. Uh, I think. It's that, uh, the mirror. I think it's the mirror. I forget where it is, though. I think it's the mirror nymph. I'm gone. Yeah, they can't recognize their own face. Yeah, it's 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 mirror nymph. It's definitely mirror nymph. <laughs> Chat is still saying house fire for every answer. Wait, you forgot who you are? Uh, that sounds like the symptom of a house fire. 100%! We did it! 
I cannot wait. I cannot wait to get my coupon. My coupon. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to get my coupon. I'm so excited to get my coupon. You have no idea, guys. You have no idea how excited I am to get my coupon. The Hag Hide. Congratulations, employee. Your high accuracy rate has awarded you today's daily coupon. The Hag Hide. Sourced cruelty-free from the perished and treated with our flower-scented formula. These are the best quality Hag Hides you'll find this month only. We'll even throw in an iron wall mount free of charge. Let the whispers keep your bed... The safe haven it should be. Sleep easier, sleep safer. Hag Haglin for deals. That's a bit spooky. I remember being told that we've got to work Saturday and Sunday, so I think there's two more levels left. Thunder Peak. America's most dangerous yet rewarding hiking locations. In this guide, we'll show you how you can be best prepared for one of nature's most beautiful trails. Supplies. All those supplies. As with any hiking trail, you'll want to ensure you come prepared with supplies to help you meet the demanding physical trials ahead. Four twenty nine ninety six was a Monday, so you got a full week left. Make sure to bring hiking boots. Water bottle. Iron sword. Uh, uh, hello, Dark Souls. Hello. Climbing gloves. Why iron sword? If you don't have access to all these materials, be sure to consult one of the Thunder Park guides before embarking. The trail. I'm really trying to get immersed in this, bro. You got someone in chat saying Gemini House Fire Entertainment. The Thunder Peak is a straightforward but steep trail consisting mostly of switchbacks leading through a natural cave and finally a short climb to its pristine peak. Pace yourself as you progress. This both conserves energy and helps you appreciate the scenery around you. Damn, that is a really nice view, though. There's, there's a place you can, like, hike in the UK called the Peak District. I've been hiking there once. It's actually amazing. It looks so nice. Be sure to stop and read the info signs littered along the trail. When you see red and yellow lines, it means you're in a high rockfall area. Travel with caution. I so guarantee while this guy's filming, there's going to be, like, something like, like, it just, it just, it just comes across the corner, like, <laughs> and then it just hides again. Once you've entered the quiet zone, remain completely silent. As you approach the cave entrance, remove your hiking boots. Oh, you gotta be quiet now. Enter the cave. Nah, I'm good. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. I, I, I don't want to go in there. Nah. Someone someone said in the chat he's taking his shoes off to avoid the fire. Please get a new bit. Please get a new bit. When inside the cave, move carefully and quietly. Do not stop. It's gonna be a jump scare. Follow the lights, do not stray. If you hear this sound, stay still and achieve your sword.
Why would you go in there? Why would you go in there? Are you, are you silly? Are you acoustic? Why, why would you go in there? Once you exit the cave, put on your boots and gloves for the final climb to the peak. You made it. Now enjoy the view. <laughs> Someone said in chat, um, if they died, how did they upload this to YouTube? You are an idiot. Idiot. <laughs> it's 1996! YouTube wasn't a Help thing! Me. Yo, this view is fire. Kind of like a... Kind of like a house fire, right? Ah, it's so funny! Oh my god! I hate you all deeply. I will begin the shift. This one, I feel, is going to be very hard. This one is going to be very, very hard. True. Hello, woman. Park employee. Lend that Hark. here once more. Supervisor Carol here again. I've updated thy permissions to grant thee access to all relevant household hazard information. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. What? Bed hag. Oh! oh my god, is that Colossal? Is that Colossal's mum? Some kind of animal has gotten into my cellar. I know it's down there, because I can hear it flapping around sometimes when the house is quiet. Tell me, what to do to get rid of this thing? Because I think it's getting into all my Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. Ah, uh, it's it's the wine nymph or whatever it's called, wine sprite. There we go. Hi. Do you know how I got here? I'm. Please, I was told that you could help me. My family. They aren't my family. They aren't my family. I, I don't know what's happened. Please tell me how to get back to my family. Okay, it's not that she's forgotten her family. She thinks they aren't her family. I feel this this isn't the, the thing I picked before. I'm not sure what this could be. Neighbor's doorway. She probably just has dementia. <laughs> That's a little bit messed up, chat. Come on. Neighbor's doorway. Let's have a look. Neighbor's doorway is a door frame that can appear in basements or cellars. They are known to cause confusion if stepped through, as well as para parallelism. Autism? Neighbor's doorways do not cause any direct harm, but if stepped through, the resulting autism will often result in unwanted household activity, such as rising up, living down in Ohio, guys and <sighs> Shut up. <sighs> Dyslexic. Please, 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 Can't please, please, read. Please, 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 please. Lol. I can read, but I'm trying to read all the text on screen and then unfunny donos and then shout on top of that. It's a lot. 100%. Let's go. Let's go. We did it. Let's go. Let's go. Is, I'm assuming it's only one more day. I'm assuming it's a week. Yeah, look, she's gone now. And now there's a hole. She's gone. So this one's going to be a little bit different, I think. Oh, it's already bugging out. Clock in. Thy trial hath begun. Okay. This is definitely different. We gotta lock in, boys. Alright. This might be Carol. What the hell? We are many. We are above. We are followers of our queen. What are we? Submit answer. You have to pick, like, the right answer. We are many... We are above. We are followers of our queen. Oh, that's bees, right? I'm sure that's bees. Showcase our knowledge. Oh, we're going deeper. I am not living, yet I clatter. I am small, I am weak, I serve my purpose, then I die. What am I? Oh, you can't even view anything anymore, right? Chat saying animation. Forge ahead. That is scary. Look at that hag. Look at that. I am 
friends to the water of the sky. I am the beggar. I am the encroacher of the dry. I am friend of, to the water of the sky. I'm a friend to the water and the sky. Rain nymph. The the the, the carry chat is doing today is actually godly because me doing this on my own I'd be fucked. All Gabby by the way. Yeah, true, true. Press on, employee. I am the harbinger of death. I am the bringer of pestilence. I am forever the nuisance. What am I? I am the harbinger of death. I am the bringer of pestilence. I am forever the nuisance. Nuisance makes me think it's a troll. I am the bringer of pestilence. I am forever the nuisance. Oh, everyone's saying fly? It could be a fly. Oh, it's house. House. I nearly picked house fire. Oh my god, I nearly picked house fire. <laughs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine? The game kind of fell off while we fighting the Riddler. Uh, I, th I think it's alright. I think the game's definitely gone on too long. And it hasn't changed format, but I I I've still enjoyed it. The concept is interesting, like working for an evil company though. I seek the domains of those who have too much... I seek the domains of those who have too much. Step within and they lose their way. That's a portal, right? There has to be a portal. Step within and they lose their way. The IRS. Closet Labyrinth. Expand thy mind. We are companions of gardens. We compel those who tread no to tread no longer we are companions of the gardens we compel those who tread to tread no longer Please hold. companions of the garden maybe a seedling or spriggan a uh, seedling info successfully sent to client let go thy stilted soul That, that's a mole. That's literally a mole. I'm the dance eye and the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I'm forsaken oil and the ca I'm the dance and the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil. Please hold. Isn't that the tree that like ate that kid? House fire for real this time. Okay, it's not actually a house fire, is it? Is this actually a house fire? Is this one actually a house fire? I am the dancer, I am the bringer of destruction, I consume the weak, I am reckless, and the forsaken oil in the careless light. There's no way it's actually house fire. It's actually a house fire. Okay, the bit, the bit actually paid off. I've been streaming for nearly five hours. The bit nearly, the, the bit actually paid off. Dude, look at his teeth. I am the seeker. I am the one who delivers. Please hold. I am the seeker. I am the one who delivers. That's so vague. I am the seeker. I am the one who delivers. Amazon. Yeah, it could be Amazon. I could be Dorcha, right? I just remember Dorcha being like, the one who delivers and then you're fucked. Oh, I think it is Dorcha. The only one I actually worked out on my own. Dorcha. I hope that one doesn't fuck me. I'm pretty sure that one's Dorcha though. Are we done? The one who de delivers the house fires. Oh, look at her eyes. We did it, boys. Nice. Nice. What is happening? What is happening? Is she is she is she rizzing me? What's happening? Where's my promotion? My camera's out of focus. Where's my where's my where's my promotion? God damn, look at her thighs, holy shit. Riz. The Riz King.
The bad ending? I don't think so. I definitely don't think so. We did it. Junior Supervisor. We did it, boys. What is going on? What What is going on? The, the... Bro about to get crucified. I still don't understand who that guy was that kept calling. Who, who was that guy that kept calling? The one with like the deformed face? There definitely are other endings, but I'm not playing through that whole game again to get those endings. I'll just look them up, look them up online. Oh damn! I got I, I completed the game with a hundred percent accuracy. Hundred percent accuracy. That's that's good, dude. Only six percent of people have that achievement. Get fucked. Ah, oh, they literally said that the inspiration was Gemini and local. Yeah, okay, that, that makes sense. That was an achievement to read through the art book. Right, uh, chat, I'm gonna end stream because I've been going for like four and a half hours. Uh, I'm gonna stream again tomorrow, probably. There, there should be a video out on Pyro Live.